Hopkins Trinidad was probably the most historical fight of the last 15 years because of the timing of it, mm -hmm. because it's the unification of the middleweight titles, and then there is the devastation of 9 11. Tell me about everything. You were the third man for the ring. Tell me about everything that you experienced from the moment the planes hit all the way to that night at Madison Square Gardens when Hopkins ultimately defeated Trinidad. The fight was originally scheduled for September 15, 2001. I'd gotten the assignment about three weeks before and the nerves are building because this is, so pre-fight and then the devastation hits and no one knows anything. And the build up to the fight with, with, with uh, Bernard throwing the Puerto Rican flag on the floor and totally disrespecting Tito, Tito Trinidad. Uh, we had no idea, you know, we're, we were numb. So now, talk begins of rescheduling and so forth and so on. And there's a big meeting in New York. Uh, Don King is there, it's his promotional company. The representatives of Bernard, the representatives of Tito. And they settle on September 29, figuring two and a half weeks let's look at it as the first step to recovery um, the fight is then scheduled back on track as mentally as my prep didn't change but just the, the, the getting over the anguish um, I have never seen or been a part of a more electric or emotional atmosphere 25,000 people Madison Square Garden Puerto Rican section here and the other section there and Don took uh, the middle section for first responders and victims families open invitation if they feel strong enough or to make it part of the recuperative process um, the singing of the national anthem, I had to pinch myself and say, my God, you know, I'm here, you know, get ready. Then Don comes into the ring and donates a $125,000 hook and ladder uh, assembly to the uh, lower Manhattan where they lost that uh, apparatus. Mm -hmm. So he donates that to the fire chief there and it's very, very, the first part is very, very solemn. But as soon as the, the um, uh, national anthem and the acknowledgement, then the, the, the crowd gets into the fight mode and the electricity totally builds. Um, the fight lived up to every aspect of the hype. Bernard was absolutely magnificent. Uh, boxing skill, clean, precise. Tito, tremendous. But I could see Bernard taking over slowly but surely each succeeding round. In the seventh round, Tito hits Bernard with all he has. His signature overhand right hand. Bernard grunts, continues, and I could see Tito's face. <laughs> what do I have to do with this guy? Lesser men would have fallen much earlier. Uh, it goes 12 when the corner and I in unison move in to stop it. And I think that could have been Bernard's finest hour. Um, the pre-fight hype and the disrespect was all ticket selling. They shared a mutual respect. They embraced and the fight lived up to the night and it was the first major event worldwide since the devastation and it may have played a role in the beginning of the recovery of New York because um, you know everyone went home satisfied even though Tito lost it was a respectful loss and of course Bernard became the unified middleweight champion.